all bad, right? Like, okay. University from the side. With my, I'm not actually that horrible sexist man. <laughs> <laughs> that was lots of my high five. You can get to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Imi, and this is my daddy Liam Hale. All right, uh, this is uh, I'm Liam Hale. This is my daddy Chris, and I'm the oldest person here. I'm, uh, I was dragged back, dragged back from the desperate, dead, from the dead uh, to do this. I was in Scribble in 2010. <laughs> 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 Um, Are we ready for a third half? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
drugs at once. And then I thought that'd be a fantastic way to get really, really high. And then I took all of the drugs. We need to get you to a fucking hospital now! Why? Because you just took all of the drugs! Well, because I took all of the drugs. All of the drugs! Ah. We don't need to go then. What? Why? I didn't take all of the drugs. <laughs> Uh, well, it's impossible to take all of the drugs, stupid. Do you know how many there are? There's like thousands of them. It's fucking, pre fucking preposterous. Okay, good. I took most of the drugs. <laughs> most of the drugs. Most of the drugs. Which drugs have you taken? Right, okay, right. Uh, the, it got your usual. Um, weed and all similes thereof. Um, <laughs> Uh, heroin, crack, popsomy, thalidomide, <laughs> um, uh, how did you even take <laughs> How did you even take all of these drugs? Well, I put it in a blender with some vodka and I downed it. Okay, <laughs> that's not how you take drugs. Most of the drugs. Most of them. But it isn't how you take them. You tend to smoke them. Yes. Well, I can't do that, can I? Why not? Because I'm asthmatic and I'm scared of needles. You smoke and you're a diabetic. Okay, fine and lazy! <laughs> <laughs> if you've... If you've taken most of the drugs, they don't appear to have much of an effect on you. I mean, I mean you seem basically the same as normal, all things considered. Well, <laughs> I think they just cancelled each other out. What? <laughs> What do you mean, cancelled each other out? Well, you know, cancelled each other out. Some are uppers, some are downers, and they, you know, became nothingers. <laughs> <laughs> that makes no scientific sense. An eight-year-old would know that that makes no scientific sense. At all. Just, regardless, we need to get you to a hospital now. What is with my face? <laughs> <laughs> I thought the drugs were kicking in. I don't think it was the drugs. <laughs> That's fucking disgusting. Probably because of all of the drugs. Most of the drugs. Of the drugs. <laughs> well, regardless of that, I think we probably still need to take these drugs. Why? Because of all the drugs you took. Well, I, I told you, I only took most of the drugs. All of the drugs. Most of the drugs. Some of the drugs. One drug. <gasps> fucking cowpaw. It doesn't matter if it's anything other than it. It's in your system. It might fucking But there kill. aren't any drugs in my system. <laughs> 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 right, I threw up all of most of the drugs. <laughs> Fucking what? Right, right, right. I took most of the drugs, and then I threw up all the drugs I took. <laughs> so you threw up all the drugs? I told you I didn't take all the drugs. All the drugs you took? You threw them all up. Yes, I told you, Steve. I threw up most of the drugs. Leo! Fine, I threw up all the drugs I took. Wasn't hard, was it? You happy now? Good. Relatively good. <laughs> Apart from that sickening mess. <laughs> Fine. Good. Now, once we've had you cleaned up, <laughs> do you want to go watch a but then I took the rest of the For drugs. Sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nicola! <laughs> oh, Thank you for having me. Please take a seat. 
Yes. <laughs> oh, she's wonderful. Yes, thank you. She's uh, she's recently been made head of a uh, local women's institute. So. She... <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It's a, it's, a, it's a nervous tick of mine. I, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. It's oh, um, embarrassing. No, it's okay. Uh, everyone's got their quirks. <laughs> You're too kind. Um, Sorry, you were saying about your wife. Oh, yes, so she's going to be, you know, running all of their carol services and fundraisers. <laughs> Big sales. <laughs> so, sorry. Don't mention it. So anyway, what have you brought for me today? Ah, uh, well, um, okay. Have you ever uh, uh, gotten bored while cleaning? Or, or, or um, felt your environment was too unkempt while you boogied? <laughs> Introducing <laughs> the disco mop. Oh. <laughs> Cut a rug while your hardwood cleans. I see. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to aim this primarily at housewives? <coughs> primarily, yes. Uh, we feel that, um... Oh, no. <laughs> Hello. Nicola, what are you doing? <laughs> I just, um, I thought maybe you... You would... just what, Nicola? <laughs> Nothing. Watch your step, Nicolaj. You wouldn't want to be doing anything inappropriate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't dream of it. So, <coughs> I was thinking uh, we could outsource the majority of the production to uh, the new plans in Afghanistan. The, to the new plans in Afghanistan, and to, um, well, the, oh. <laughs> Afghanistan. No. <laughs> Come on! I'm soaked! Oh! Oh, I do apologise for my disability, Nicolaj. I'll just go around work all day with a trough strapped to my face, shall I? <laughs> no? Um, no, I'm sorry, I, uh, absolutely. Um, I should have checked my prudishness at the door. It's alright, Nicolaj. You're all new ones. <laughs> now I must say, I love, love, love the disco mob! I'd like to see a prototype on my desk by the end of the month. Oh, really? Oh, thank you so much for this, you won't forget it. You won't regret it, I promise. I'm sure I will. You're a good boy when you hit the Good boy. <laughs> in the county, so <laughs> let's bring them on out then. Come on out, girls! <laughs> what beauties! <laughs> She's wearing her new frock. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Fairfax is my firstborn daughter, Georgiana. <laughs> Miss Georgiana. It's a pleasure to meet you. And this, Mr. Fairfax, is my second-born daughter, Cecily. Miss Cecily. <laughs> Mr. Fairfax, it is similarly a pleasure to meet you. And this, Mr. Fairfax. <laughs> my, my, isn't she looking ravishing today? <laughs> this, Mr. Fairfax, is my youngest daughter, Curry Gone Wrong. <laughs> Each 
has their own skills and hobbies which makes each one unique from the next. Georgiana, for instance, uh, loves playing the piano and in the spring delights in picking daisies. <laughs> And uh, Cecily, uh, why, um, she's recently taken to painting her sisters. Uh, here's one she painted earlier of uh, Cully Gong Rock. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and the lovely stink lines on that. <laughs> uh, put it away now, dear, quickly. How's that? Cully Gong Rock has hot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, right. 
Back to back, come on, we'll do it together. Uh, then we'll be safe. Come on, touch bones. <laughs> and the last one! Oh! Cheers, lads! Come here! This would be really touching if we weren't naked and touching. <laughs> Oh, what is that? Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Timothy Gosh. I'm welcoming you to another relentless episode of Anger and Issues where we take the issues of modern day society and take calls from the people that can get angry about them the quickest. <laughs> now, Brian is on line one. What's your story, mate? I think they're violent, unclean scum! Yes, a lot of people are saying that. <laughs> oh, and what do you think should be done about it? <laughs> well, I think it's pretty clear, clear that they should all be locked up. In a wheelie bin and thrown off a cliff. Locked in a wheelie bin and thrown off a cliff. Thanks, Brian. I like your anger. But you have jumped the gun a little bit here because we haven't actually revealed what the issue is yet. You <laughs> <laughs> see, on this week's edition of Anger and Issues, we have uncovered a secret ring of vicious new threats lurking in the very thicket of our innocence. Got a garden. <laughs> oh, maybe Nana's got one. <laughs> Who better to tend to it, though, than your regular salt of the earth, ruddy faced girl? <laughs> A vicious and highly organised ring of flower fingerers, known technically as mortifiers, are infiltrating <laughs> our guy, <laughs> as po posing as the very people who were supposed to care for them. <laughs> <laughs> Guardian gimps are stalking your sunflowers, they're preying on your pansies and even raping your rhododendrons. And the very scary thing is, is that these could be anyone, anywhere, at any time. There's a nonce at the back <coughs> of the garden. <laughs> and his name is Wiggly U. <laughs> now on my two, we've got Pat. Pat, what's your in, uh, take on this old scandal? Chichester Garden Association. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you all are setting a bit of a precedent, aren't they, Malcolm? Yeah, that's right. In spring has been cancelled. Right. <laughs> Do you want to expand on that? <laughs> so we've really got a bonfire of daffodils going, and then we're going to take measures against cherry blossom, daisies, dandelions, then we're going to terminate the tulips and really stomp out all this snowdrop monarchy. Quite frankly, if it's prettier than Bracken, we're going to burn it! Because these people, these people can't be trusted to enjoy a simple, nice, lovely garden without becoming all horny. And until we can trust ourselves to do that, and to enjoy this garden, then we're going to limit the people of Chichester to an honest wasteland! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Malcolm. You're the very, very decent bloke. Whoever <laughs> <laughs> at home is not taking these measures into their own local communities should take a long, hard look in the mirror 
and then beat your head against the mirror. <laughs> and projectile vomit until all you see is a bloody sicky mess. <laughs> now on line three we've got Sai. Sai, what do you think about this? Well, I would like to say that this is completely sensationalised. You despicable miscreants. I, I, I have been hiring gardeners for ten years and I have never had a single problem. That sounds like the <laughs> talk of a flower fiddler to me. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's a fucking witch hunt. Don't try and, try and throw us off the scent there, Si. We know who you are. You probably suck stamen out of stalks like the Nesquik silly straws. <laughs> you deviated flower, you probably use pollen as a sticky lubricant and rub yourself off against your favourite shrub. <laughs> but guess what, Si? Edda doesn't like you that way. And we will find you and we will cut you slowly. <laughs> well, you can't prove anything. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Some people are so scummy that they make a public toilet on Wigan Pier. Literally, chuck up. Well, that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid, this week. But join us next week for a special live edition of Anger and Issues, where we'll be chasing a repeat offender through the streets of Hull. Screaming, <coughs> bring back hanging, bring back hanging. We want you dead, so bring back anger. <laughs> <laughs> when we commence in the crime and the robbery. You said it, new guy. Nothing I enjoy more than participating in a little bit of crime and the robbery. Hey, boss. Have a Listen, this is gonna sound crazy, but I think the new guy might be Robocop. What? <laughs> yeah, I think he's Robocop. He's undercover in our operation. What makes you say that? No. The way he walks and the way he talks, and oh yeah, how he has to plug himself into the mains every six hours to recharge. When he first joined the syndicate, he came to my first class. Hey, some people like to splash out for luxury when they travel. Post. First class, he came in a six foot parcel. Have you seen the prices for flights these days? I mean, they say we're criminal. Uh, we get enough pop. His body is as tough as metal. You're right. The dude is ripped. You should take a leaf out of his book, get the gym a bit more. Oh, no, his body rate is literally titanium alloy. His GP works in a quick fit. Oh, yeah, you know he's talking about his ex girlfriend, Siri. How she works as a poisonal sister. Oh, yeah, mention it. He does have that strange tattoo on his back. And what does it say? Samsung, model number ROE. Here you go. It's coming over. <laughs> Hello, Steve. My optical sensors are picking up heightened blood pressure and body temperature. These could be symptoms of high stress, cholesteric buildup, or sexual frustration due to lack of intercourse. Have you mated with another human? I mean, member of the species that we both occupy recently. <laughs> Who is Robocop? I am just a human, making human conversation around the human cooler of water, as we humans often human. You said it, man. Just being friendly. Oh, come on. Don't you think he's even acting a little bit strange? Give me a break, Steve. Only human. Affirmative. We are all only humans here. Right. New guy. Really simple. Are you Robocop? Run surprise.exe. <laughs> what? <laughs> no! Say <laughs> the more. No, are you not seeing this? You know, I think you might be going a little bit crazy. You know, no, fuck this. I'm joining the mafia. Hey! 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 hey. 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 <laughs> 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 Do you think Steve 
knows he's the only one in the syndicate who is not a Robocop. Negative. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. Wanna make our date tonight? I'll go to the hospital. Sad face. Kiss. Kiss. Jesus, Fred, what happened? Oof, doctor says I got the dreaded tuberculosis, didn't he? <laughs> Sad face. Sick face. How bad is it? Vomit sticker. <laughs> Ouch. Sad face. Kiss, kiss. Yeah. Doctor French sent me to hospital. Is that Catherine? See. <laughs> <laughs>
to my balcony overlooking the city and its streets, all flowing with the liquid lights of motorized crime. <laughs> Aren't you cold, she says. Aren't you cold? Cold, I think. Cold? With all this crime? <laughs> Never! I stand on the balcony, open and naked to the cool night air. I bear my genitalia to the city, to the crime. You like this crime? You like my genitalia? I thrust violently in the city. Take it, crime! Take my genitalia! Oh, what? Not tonight? You have a headache? Sure. But one day, I will dry hump the city clean of all the crime. <laughs> One day. I stuck my cigarette out of my arm and I realized this was a bad decision to swear and pay. Fuck you, crime! Fuck you! <laughs> I'm going to throw a dart at this map, and wherever it lands, that's where we'll go on holiday. <laughs> Capital idea, Poppies. Well, anyway, we'll be better than last year's holiday to talking. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, it goes. Right. One, two, three. Talking. <laughs> How? Well, your aim was always a bit questionable, darling. <laughs> Touche. I'll try again. Right. <laughs> Death Valley. Ooh. Hottest place on earth, not happening. I'll try again. Yes. The Russian research station in Vostok, Antarctica. <laughs> Coldest place on earth, not happening. New rule, it needs to be a place where humans can survive. <laughs> Wolverhampton. It needs to be a place where humans can survive. <laughs> oh, France. That's original. At the Pacific Ocean. Unworkable. The Pacific Ocean. My views are unchanged. <laughs> the Pacific Ocean. Well, I suppose this is to be expected when it covers a third of the planet. Belgium. Fuck off. <laughs> Been there. Yeah. Australia. Don't like spiders. Yeah. Djibouti. Never heard of it. Yeah. The Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Right! Pack your canoe and off we fuck! 